There are a lot of people who come to the United States because they really believe in the American dream. They understand that you can come here, be of modest means, but if you're smart and you work hard, you can really make a very good life for yourself. And for some people, that works out very well. There are a large number of success stories. But there also are people who come here, they may have been doctors or engineers in their home country. They come here, they're not able to adapt, they don't have the employment opportunities, and you get doctors who are driving taxi cabs. It's difficult to bring foreign students in and keep them and hire them uh, even after we have trained them. The United States used to be the destination of choice in terms of higher education. We still have many advantages in that area, but those advantages are starting to drop. Now with the emergence of China, some of those people are going back. They see China as the country of the future. That's the place that has the resources. They're investing for innovation. And so people who, Americans who used to stay here, uh, now are starting to go to other countries. In the United States, people are presumed innocent until they are found guilty. But in the immigration area, we basically do the opposite. We assume they are guilty until somebody proves them innocent. Judges have a tremendous workload. They're having to process hundreds of cases every week. There are big inequities across judges. You know, some judges are more lenient than others. We need more judges. The judges need better training. There need to be ways for illegal immigrants to have legal representation when they're going through the judicial process. And so there are lots of ways we can improve the process in a way that would bring up the immigration court system to the level of justice that we see in the rest of our legal justice system. There are around 12 million individuals in the United States who are here illegally. If we deported all of them, it would create a nightmare in terms of our legal justice system as well as in our overall economy because these people perform jobs that are needed and often Americans don't want to do those jobs. It creates problems in terms of family life because you may have parents that are separated from children. It creates problems for local employers who are counting on these people to work in the restaurants, uh, in the hotels, or in the agricultural uh, sector. Illegal immigrants provide many positive services for uh, communities, uh, socially and economically. People in general think that immigrants soak up government resources and contribute few benefits to the United States as a whole. In reality, immigrants pay taxes. Uh, when they rent property, they pay property uh, taxes. When they buy goods, they pay sales taxes. Uh, many of them actually pay income and Social Security uh, taxes. They actually contribute many things to the United States, and the costs are actually less than what people uh, think. Immigrants are still making a contribution to the United States. They have kept the United States at the edge of innovation.